Hello everyone, how are you? It's Lori and I'm going to do your you and them reading. Whoever is on your mind is who the you or them is. All right, I'm focusing on love, but obviously it can be uh, friendships, family situations, co-workers, neighbors, whatever the situation is. The, this is your energy on this side. So what is your recent past energy towards this relationship? No further than 30 days into the past, please, spirit. What's your current energy towards this relationship? What is your near, <clears throat> excuse me, what is your near future relation, um, energy towards this relationship? No further than a month into the future, please, spirit. All right. Let's go ahead and get your person's energy over on this side. Now, as I go along, if you decide that this is your energy and this feels more like your person, please feel free to swap the energies out. All right. Um, your person's recent energies towards this uh, relationship in the recent past. No further than 30 days in the past, please, spirit. Let's look at their current energies towards this relationship and their near future energies towards this relationship. No further than a month into the future, please, Spirit. All right, I may have to move this over here. Yes, I need that room. Okay, now let's take a look at the combined energies between you and your person. I've already pre-shuffled all the decks, so they are really very well shuffled. All right, the recent past energy towards this relationship. Oh, we are out of room here. Let me move this over. All right, so they're the combined recent past energies, no further than a month back if possible for clarity, please, Spirit. The current energies combined between you and your person and the combined energies between you and your person in the near future, no further than a month into the future, please, Spirit. All right, let us take a look at your energy. At the end of this reading, I will get you oracle messages, angel numbers, all kinds of fun things. And I will, I'm getting called now to possibly do the letter die, so we'll see. So stick around to the end, okay? You never know what's going to come out here. Even if it doesn't feel like your message right now, it could be energy of coming towards you soon. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got. You in the recent past, Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Pentacles. Something you did concerning this relationship, you kind of took charge. You faced the truth, you spoke your truth, you took action changed the destiny of this relationship and now you feel much more secure okay so that's good energy right there i feel like um i'm hearing from spirit there was a, a bit of a challenge here with the energies between you and your person in the sense that maybe you didn't care for something that they were doing or how you felt I'm almost getting that this is you, like you were hesitant to speak up about something about yourself, about how you felt about this relationship. And I'm not talking about like you think your person should change or they're doing something wrong. No, this is something about yourself and how you dealt with relationships or this one in particular. OK, and by speaking up and being honest and being clear and taking action on whatever was happening here, you literally changed the, the outcome of this relationship for the better. And you brought in some sort of stability. Now, there could have been an issue here concerning money. OK, maybe money and you being involved with people was a, a trigger thing or something. And you just speaking up and saying, hey, look. Somebody has taken advantage of me and my money in the past. I'm not willing to do that. Are you good with being in this relationship if we keep this and I keep that? That type of energy, okay? So you just spoke up about how you feel about something. You're not try you were not trying to change your person. 
All right, let's see how they were feeling in that energy. Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Your decision here literally set them free to feel like themselves. So whatever conversation you have was actually very, very beneficial for both of you. This actually will increase um, their sense of security within the relationship. I feel like both of you have gotten burned. You definitely, whoever's on the side, someone took advantage of your goodwill, your money, okay? This person over here might be very wealthy. And you may not even have known that and said to them, hey, look, I've got my own money. I like having my own money. I like being kind of independent here. I really don't like the idea of supporting you. And I don't like the idea of you supporting me. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean forever. And I think that's the type of conversation you may have had. Um, but this set them free to put more money aside. And you may not know about this, but they're building quite a nest egg for the two of you. If this relationship continues to grow and blossom as it is, they are more than happy to keep working, keep doing whatever they're doing to grow a future for the two of you. But that set them free to go ahead and do that, to focus on that, to create whatever it is that the wealth that they are trying to create here. Okay, so that was the recent past. Let's go ahead and see what your current energies are towards this relationship. You, Queen of Swords, true, being true to yourself, being authentic, speaking your truth, speaking up, okay? Now, there is a page of cups here, a little bit of thinking outside the box. Oh, boy. There's an apology here. You're speaking your truth and you're apologizing for something. Some sort of... Oh, no, you're expecting an apology. Oh, boy. What did they do? I don't feel any negativity here. What, what happened here? I'm going to have to turn these over to see what's going on here. Um, there was some sort of heartbreak, pain, suffering. There is going to be here in the current energy disappointment and an expectation of an apology let's see what your person's got going on here the page of swords ace of pentacles and the queen of wands they heard something or they said something there was some sort of information that was released about money about something And it has to do with loyalty and trust. A trust. Could be a trust fund. It's The Queen of Wands right here is um, loyalty. That's what's coming through here. I want to see what the combined energy is going to be between you and your person. I still don't get a, a negative sense, even with this Three of Swords here on your behalf. I feel like there's just moving on, moving past. Look at the Seven of Swords trying to figure out how to talk about this. Keep other people out of the situation. See, I think something went public some information got out and you're feeling like you don't want to involve other people in it. You want it to be just between you and your person. They have the Knight of Cups. They're taking care of themselves. They're focused on themselves right now. I think you may have said or done something inadvertently when you had this conversation. It set them free and I think they may have made a, a remark of that. Hey, that's awesome. Now I can put more money aside or they revealed or divulged that they have a lot of money, that they're already secure and independently wealthy. And that may have triggered you to say something. It was a truth. It was honest, but it caused some sort of difficult situation between you and your person. And now you're trying to fix this. And their, their whole thing is, you know what? I'm just going to focus on me. I'm going to let my person over here do what they're going to do. Okay. I'm going to start fresh. 
Um, we'll see if we can rebuild the trust. If there's still a spark here. Yeah, let's see what's going. Look at this. I never revealed what the energy was there. Two of Wands, a decision. You are in the current energies faced with a decision. That may be why this was so clouded. Yeah, see, you did do something that you regret saying. You feel like, it, oh, you ruined the happiness. You feel like you ruined the joy by speaking up about this. It set this person free. Look at that, see, judgment. It set them free. That's why I was having so much confusion here. And the thing between the two of you was balance, temperance, trying to see if it could work out or not, okay? That may be the apology why this is here. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Isn't that weird how this works? <sighs> that cleared this whole current energy right up. Yeah, see, I feel like uh, I'm hearing your person telling you the truth. Telling you, hey, I'm independently wealthy or I'm I'm fine on my own. Everything's good, you know. And now I can do this. Now I can create and do whatever it is I wanted to do. And I can move forward and I can build that wealth. I have that wealth. Now I am going to tell you what I'm hearing right now. Mm. This is only for maybe a few of you. Okay, so do not take this on if this is not your story. But if you are involved with somebody, you may have put an ultimatum to them. All right, you need to take care of your responsibilities. You have to pay for this. You, like I'm getting like you were trying to separate. Like this was the final straw. Okay, maybe even a divorce. Because you were looking at a change, a major life change here. And you finally thought that this conversation you had with your person where you said, you know what, I can take care of myself. I, I'm fine. I prefer to do this. You go ahead and do that. Let's just keep our money separate. Let's whatever. Okay. This could be you still involved in this marriage, in this relationship. And what you did was create financial freedom for them. And they... They make a comment that makes you realize the truth of what they've got. Like you may not have known that they were had money stashed aside, that they're going to be totally independently wealthy. And you're going to be over here, okay, you're going to be doing fine. But you're regretting that you said this because they get to rise above. They're going to be, and you know what? What's done is done. You cannot retract the words. You can apologize, but it's not going to fix the heartache. It's not going to fix the what's happened there. And strategizing and planning and trying to keep other people out of this, it's like opening Pandora's box. It, it, it cannot be changed. It can be dealt with, but you can't put that back in the box. You can't take the words back, okay? You can't undo what has already been done. Interesting. And right now at the crux of your relationship is a decision, what you're going to do. And your person is focusing on themselves. You're over here saying, ah, darn it, I did not do this right. And you're kind of coming up with strategies on how to get your person back in alignment with you. All right, let's see what the near future energy looks like. Whew. You've got the King of Swords. Look at that, right underneath the Queen of Swords. You've got the Knight of Cups. You've got the Two of, of Pentacles. You, you are definitely wanting to speak up, clear the air, offer love to your person, and try to rebalance things here. I don't know. I'm not getting all that great of an energy from this. What's done is done, and this feels like playing games. This kind of feels like, oh, I'll just reel them back in for a little while. Make them think that we're together again, you know, that we're in love, and I'll just apologize, say what I have to. I've got this strategy, this plan. And then, whew, if that's you, that's not a good way to be. That is not right. You made a decision 
Um, and if it's your person, I take it only as it resonates, okay? If, if you're not in alignment with this at all, that's absolutely fine too. And I'm definitely not judging, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what they've got. Look at this, the judgment twice here. Oof, at the beginning, in the past energy, and the future energy. And they've got the seven of pentacles. And they have the two of cups. All right, so they've got a decision that they're going to make. Are they going to rise above this? They're definitely contemplating what they want to keep, what they want to get rid of with that seven of pentacles. I think they're trying to make a healthy choice for themselves. They do have love for you, obviously. I mean, if you two are in a relationship, there is emotional, um, a, a depth of emotion that is here. On your part, I'm getting a lot of air energy, a lot of overthinking, a lot of words, okay? Maybe thinking too much instead of being in the relationship. All right, let's see what you've got in the near future. The magician. Now, they've got the magician in the past energy. Now, you've got it. What I'm hearing with this is... This is your combined energy for the two of you. When you are together, you feel like you can fix this. Okay. What do they have? The tower. I'm getting that they're going to be um, surprised by something that you say, something you do. Yeah. Seven of Wands. See, this just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. I think they're going to be shocked and you're both are going to be like defending your own sides. Your person over here feels like you're manipulating them. Okay. They want alignment. They want to be in a good, peaceful place. And they feel like you're playing games with them, that you're crossing lines. You know, they're like you're pushing their buttons. And I say you, whoever's on this side, because this person in the seven of wands is facing in this person okay that's why i say they're focusing on themselves with this knight of cups you are facing walking that way towards yourself and thinking about what you can do to manipulate uh, a relationship with this person the magician is looking at themselves okay looking you're looking at yourself here and you're saying i can fix this i can make this right and here's what i'm going to do i'm going to use my head i'm going to offer up this cup of love and i'm going to um pretend everything's just okay it's perfect everything's balanced harmonious you know you my money is your money your money's my money whatever the situation is but look at the storm that's brewing in the background okay no that's not good so it's like putting on a, a, a front, a facade, manipulation, not, not fixing something, but manipulating, fixing it maybe for yourself. All right. And here you are defending yourself against why. Okay. I, I think your person's going to be very, very surprised by the energy that you are coming back around with. Oh, I don't want to divorce. I don't want to get, I don't want to break up. Oof. This is one of the strangest readings I've ever done for you and them. Maybe it's not a romantic reading. Maybe this is more about a business partnership. Because we do have a lot of, of talk about money here. Of course, it could be um, the divorce situation. And the more I talked about it, the more that wanted to come out, even though it, it started off as only a few of you. Because it looked so good in the recent past. But something definitely was out of balance, okay? And both of you were trying to stay cool and calm about it. Your person's over here going, hmm, look, I need some sort of magic here. I need a clear path. I need to know what's going on here. <sighs> hmm. It's definitely an interesting reading. I'm going to just pull some cards and probably end this. Let's get a let's get an oracle message here and see what comes out with that. I'm trying to read this differently, like a different message and I can't. I cannot go 
anywhere else with this. Bravely go, okay? Card nine. Bravely go. My intuition is saying leave, okay? It's time to move on. But what does the card say? Remember the adage, speak softly and carry a big stick? Oh, boy. If you've never heard it, it basically means it's time to move forward bravely while carrying your awareness and discernment like a weapon. You already know which way to go. This is the moment to get up and move toward the path that you're being called to, even if that way is dark or scary, especially if it's dark or scary. The only way to cure inertia is to move. So put your brave boots on and get busy. If there's something in your life that scares and excites you at the same time, it's almost always the best thing ever. You get a chance to prove to yourself that you are bigger than your fear, while also showing yourself you're worthy of every inspirational and thrilling experience that you can dream up. So do it. Now, I'm hearing that if this is about a divorce and you had a conversation, but there's nothing in writing, you're probably still going to end up divorced, but you may end up with more money if you're brave enough to, to advance this, okay? Yeah, there is a sense of feeling brave, feeling like courageous, authentic, and ready to move forward. So not everyone here is going to experience this negative situation here. I feel like, look at this, the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords. I just feel like that is like this energy in the recent past. You know, you kind of maybe spoke too quickly, too harshly. You thought things over and you stood up for yourself, okay? Here, you're you're being cold, <laughs> concise. I want it, I... I started to say calculating, cold and calculating. And to me, that has a negative connotation right now, especially with a magician being here. I can't change what the message says. I can't change that. Let's go ahead and see what angel number is going to come out here for you. I'm going to draw you a couple of cards from the Clarity um, Tarot deck. We have 555. Five, five. There's change afoot. Encouragement, support, obstacles, battles, calling, restructuring, and creative work. You are about to level up. It might not feel good right now, but it will prepare you to handle the greater things in your life for your highest good. That is the why that you have been looking for. So push through this. There's a reward waiting at the finish line. Okay, so I'm still trying not to interpret this in a negative way. You may have to uh, continue to go after what you want. All right, the Clarity Tarot is where? Hmm, no, nope, that's the Delusion. There it is. This is the Clarity Tarot. Yep. I'm just going to get a couple of cards here to clarify whatever is happening here. I know it's making sense to some of you out there. All right, let's see what we've got here for you. Look at this, the Wheel of Fortune again and the King of Wands. All right, so it says here, enjoy an improvement in your relationship. If it's about love, if it's about money, what's in motion will bring success. Now, you've had the Wheel of Fortune in the past here. The King of Wands, if this is about love, there's affection and a passionate person around you. Um, if this is about money, inspiration, possible new job, and clarity. See, this is the past energy right here. This is what I feel like happened in the recent past. Let's see what the current energy is here for clarification, clarity, understanding. All right, you have just rolled um, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, 
Aquarius, Gemini, and Aries energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries here. There is the sun tried to come out. It did not actually come out. Um, the sun card, I should say. Let's see what the current clarification is. Page of Pentacles, meeting through work, practical, but not romantic. So even if it's a romantic situation, there's an element of not romantic. It's more practical. If this is about money, study, finances, business, or health care. And things are stuck in the current energies, okay? In the love department, you or your partner will release control and the ego, of the ego, all right, money, changing your mind about money, right there in the current energies, there it is. Oh, wait, oh, I didn't realize, okay. Okay, let's see what the near future energy is here for clarification. I just heard the name Montoya, Montoya, a charmer. I'm definitely getting a sense of a charmer. Near future, eight of swords. It says, as far as love goes, feeling you have no choice, that you're trapped. All right, and if money is there, you have fear of change. Your hands are tied. Look at this, right below the hanged man, feeling like your hands are tied. Now, if you look at the card, she's holding on to the ribbon that can set herself free. All she's got to do is pull that red ribbon, and all of that... Um, feeling of being trapped is gone. So it's about just acknowledging the truth, seeing a clear path. Be at peace with yourself. Look at this. Be at peace. Six of Swords. Moving into calmer waters. Being cooperative. Working something out. And if this is about money, a work situation will be improving or money situation will improve. Okay? Oh, boy. All right. I think I am going to... Uh, Leave this. No, somebody wants yes or no answers. All right, so this reading is is hitting, sitting with somebody. It's resonating with somebody. You're aligning with it. I can hear it. All right, let's see what the first yes or no answer is going to be here. I'll do three. That's it. I'm going to do three. First one is a no. That's your answer. Okay, now this other part, portion is separate. The clockwork of the huge, hulking machine of change will chug faster and faster, accelerating everything around you. There will be many new people that have come into your life, bringing in unusual but good opportunities. You will not notice how these changes smoothly alter your attitude and perception of the situation you are in. Answer number two, yes or no. It's also a no, and it says you will be flooded with a soft, warm wave of good news, and the news is that you are an amazing person capable of boundless love and beauty. This fosters your sturdy desire to act and inventively overcome any unresolved issues. It's what you do excel at. All right. Let's see what the third and final answer is here. No, no, no. Three no's. New discoveries will, if, will affect the final result. Knowledge is power, but fate is fate. Knowledge, 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 but you've got fate right there twice with that wheel of fortune. You desire to safely achieve a favorable outcome, and it can still take you down a successful path if you have faith. Okay, so keep your faith. Whatever you feel you need to do, do it. All right, I'm going to roll these, see what comes out here. Hey, Stella, did you drop? All right. Isaac, Isaiah, Ivan, Victor, June, Bubba, Ben, Bonnie, Hannah, 
Vaughn Nina Winona I, I'm hearing Benny B-I-N-N-Y Benny or B-I-N E B-E-N-E Benny Benny I don't know Okay, somebody is a vixen. Oh, I didn't even call out that. Oh, wow, stress is what I'm feeling right now. All right, um, I hope that's not your energy. Don't feel stressed. Take a deep breath. Release it. And now we can smile again. See how easy it is to change from a difficult situation into a more positive one. It's a matter of focus. All right, so be dreamy. You have dreams. Conquer those dreams. This is all coming out from this dice. Um, Ernie, Ursula, Yasmin, ya, Yasmin, Yesterday, like a name, okay. Rene, Reed, Leader, Larry. Riley, Fred, um, I don't know what that is, I'll come back to that, Ari, um, Utah, West Virginia, Pond, Pound, Vin, Vinny, Vinny, my cousin Vinny. I'm hearing it like that. Uh, uh, New York City, New Jersey accent. Go park the car in the yard. All right. Um, Favre, Favre, Devin, Donovan, Dover. Padma, uh, okay, I don't know. I keep getting these things I don't know and they're gone before I can say anything. Howard, Howie, Howie, Hauser, Omar, Noah, Bonnie, Boho, that keeps coming out. Somebody's got big boho vibes, or they live in boho. Soho. Maybe you live in Soho. Um, all right. Definitely vibes. Okay, so there's some sort of Soho, boho vibes, something coming through here. Um, Hickson, Nixon, Bison, Bishop, Bessie. Belinda, Bray, Bronwyn, that came out yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Fun, F Fuji, Fuji, GED, like a degree. A merger. Mallory, Gawain, Gabby, Owen, Orin, Orange, Florida, Flo, Fifi, Robert, Robbie, Ronnie, Rivet, river, something about an underground river on your property. So that may be a clue. Are you paying attention? All right. Um, Hearn, Hera, Hex, Bronwyn. Did this not just keep coming out? Bronwyn, somebody's calling you. 
Answer the call. Heed the message. Is this not funny? It's coming through again. That, that guy's name starts with a C, ends with an L. Caleb. Caleb. I'm calling you out again. It's here. You cannot hide, Caleb. You cannot hide. Everything's coming out. Lamar. Lisman. Lisman. Kessie. Kersey. Katie, Latifa, uh, Chad, Cherry, Chum Chum, Demi, Desiree, Desiree, Lerner, Lemur, you're a dreamer. I'm hearing, um, the beetle guy there. Now his name is disappearing. John Lennon. Lennon what was what was trying to come out. Lemon. Uh, the kids TV or movie there. Lemony Snicket. Something about that. Decker. Deckle. Ricky, Riley's coming out again. All right, that's what I've got for you. Oh, I got two wilds here. Axel, Coax, Coven, County, Downey, Devin is coming through again. Utah's coming through again. Amelia, Amy. Uh, Sierra, I keep seeing this as C-I-A-R-A, Sierra, okay? I don't know if that's somebody in particular. MJ, Cam, Beam, James Beam, so that's a whiskey. Um, Sean, C-H-A-N, but Sean, too, all right, um... Chowder, that's somebody's dog, Chowder, and Paco, that's a nickname, Paco, hey Paco, little. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. I don't know if that helped or not. This was the strangest reading. I hope you have a fantastic day. Until RNG crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.